All right, as you may have noticed, my talk has been completely redesigned. And in this tutorial, I'd like to show you exactly how I did it. It's very simple. Um, first of all, go to your search engine and type in doc libraries. And it has to be spelled incorrectly the way it is there. And that has the program, doc library.06. Um, and the website is macupdate.com slash info.php. So you go to download now. Once you have that installed, um, you'll search in your applications or your downloads, wherever, and you'll put it into your doc if you want to. And the application will have one template for doc, and that's default. The other ones I just got off there, and now I'm going to show you where to get them. All right, then you're going to go to your internet browser, and you're going to go to leoparddocs.net. That's where you get all the doc templates. As you can see, they've got a huge variety of them, 10 whole pages worth. And that's about 29 to 30 docs that you can customize. Alright, so I'm going to go over to page 7, and I'm going to search for the doc that I want to download. And I want that doc to be Red Squid. So I'm going to click on Download Doc. It's going to appear on my downloads. Then you can just see it there. And make sure you know where that file is. Next of all, you're going to go to Doc Library and go to Import. That's where you're going to get the doc. The doc template, sorry. Go to your downloads or wherever you put that file, that folder. And all you're going to do is click on it. In this case, Red Squid. Click open. It'll appear. And now putting it on is even easier. Now, your doc may have the regular template, or in my case, another one. But you still want to change it. So you're just going to click on Activate. The doc's going to close, it's going to open up, and you'll have the new template. It's really good, and it's consistent. That means that if you close the application, um, in this case, yeah, if you close doc library, you're still going to have the doc on. It's like a system setting, basically. And it's actually very fun, because you, you can experiment with the huge variety of docs that you have. You've got Matrix, Nano Swirls, Lake of Death, iPhone, Guitar. And yeah, it's a great way to spice up your desktop on your Mac. By the way, this tutorial was made possible by God of Lightning 5 from YouTube. He's actually the one who gave me the idea for customizing the docs. And he's actually got some other great videos that might help you with other aspects of your Mac, like Photo Booth or Final Cut Express. Um, and in a lot of his videos, he actually uses the feature that I'm using now. And I'm going to link to the pages I used in this video in the video's description, actually. So, yeah, Happy New Year.